what's up guys, Betty here and Warzone Season 6 has arrived and with it has brought two brand new weapons for us to use. The AS Val Assault Rifle and then the SPR 208 Marksman Rifle. We thought it was a sniper but it's gone into the Marksman class so it could potentially be similar to the Car 98 within Warzone. But in this video I'm going to show you the best class setups and loadouts and how these weapons are actually going to perform in Warzone. Are they actually any good? Are they worth using? Answer all those questions and you're also going to see gameplay with both of the new weapons with all the attachments all the best setups uh, as well as that tier 100 skin which is pretty cool with the dark tracers if i may say so myself also for those of you wondering the as val has an integral suppressor which means you do not need to use a monolithic suppressor but there is you know an, an alternative to it which is which i was i was very thankful about but the as val is a powerhouse built for stealth accuracy and penetration this weapon will excel in the hands of an operator able to control heavy recoil and a high rate of fire now for my hands on with it already the recoil isn't very hard to control it pretty much with no attachments on goes straight up um, but the build that we're going to do is going to minimize that and also give you the ability to take on multiple people as quickly as possible because the base magazine for the Val only has 20 rounds and the um as as we well, you'll see we'll see it as made class but first of all the barrel now you're gonna have to go for the VLK 200 millimeter just because of that damage range and bullet velocity within Warzone. Both of these are, will be better for uh, multiplayer, in my opinion. But the, if you're playing Warzone, using this as your assault rifle, you're definitely gonna want to have this because it's gonna increase that damage range and that bullet velocity. Crucial, crucial attachment. And also, you know, we've got to stick that tier 100 barrel on it as well. Then, because you've got five attachments, because you don't need to use a muzzle. So, you know, you've got a lot more flexibility. But if we go straight down, we're going to use the commando foregrip. If you want a bit more help with controlling the recoil, you can use the operator foregrip. Um, but personally, for me, just going for the commando foregrip for now. Then for the ammo, you've got two options, all right? You've got the 30 round mag, and then you've got the SPP 10 round mag. Uh, this is a single shot mag. And then this is the one that you're going to want to be using if you're going full auto, uh, which is what which what we're going to do with our first build. We'll show you both in the gameplay. Uh, but the 30 round mag, crucial to use. But as, as you know, it's still a very small magazine when you compare most assault rifles have 50 or 60 round mags. For that reason, and the extra attachments we gained, I use sleight of hand. This is for trios and quads, so I can take on multiple people. Otherwise, you're going to get stuck with a reload. It's got a fairly fast reload anyway. Sleight of hand is just going to make it so much quicker. Then I'm going to throw an optic on it because, you know, I like the iron sight's nice, um, but for a distance, I still want to be having an optic. Um, so I'm going to use that and I'm going to stick the uh, blue dot on. If you don't want to do that, you can probably put the uh, rubberized uh, grip tape on there just to get a bit more recoil control. Um, or one of one of the stocks, but I, I kind of personally prefer this sort of build. Then we have the SPR 208, which is a reliable, hard-hitting 300 wind bolt action rifle from Sloan Precision. This weapon's extensive military and civilian use gives rise to an abundance of customization. And, oh my god, this sniper, or marksman rifle, has so many options. Like, you've got three different ammo types you've got a standard 10 round mag then you've got a norman mag which is going to increase your bullet velocity and damage range right it's uh it's just kind of pretty much going to send the bullet a lot further as you can see with superior external ballistics for a flatter trajectory and longer range there's not going to be as much bullet drop then you've got this for increased that for increased damage and damage range now there's going to be so many details and i'll do this in a future video as well where i go through all the minuscule details um of like stats and all that jazz uh but i'm going to be trying this in the gameplay i'm using it as a traditional sniper so we're going to have that variable zoom scope as well bolt assembly is a new attachment for snipers as well you get two here you get dead eye and you get feather if you're trying to quick scope multiplayer you're going to use feather um and the dead eye is just going to, going to allow you to have a accurate follow-up shot so if you fire one shot if you miss the head you can then make sure that you nail that shot a little bit closer which i quite like the sound of well, of course, try it out, test it out. Then you've got the uh, XRK Dragoon, which, if you want an integral suppressor. Now, personally, uh, in Warzone, I always think you need the re maximum range. So I've got the SPR 26 barrel. So damage range, bullet velocity, and recoil control. Then on the muzzle, that monolithic suppressor. It wasn't on the AS Val, but thankfully, it's on the SPR. So we'll have that on there as well. And that's the build that I'm just going to show you. And of course, uh, we'll make a second class. And just, you know, just, just, let's just stick the, the Malthus on there because it's a 10 round. Let's see what they do, but let's check it out in game. 
Okay, so let's start by taking a look at the AS Vow. And as you can see, that sleight of hand really helps with the reload speed. And there's like no recoil to this thing at all. And we've got that tier 100 skin on. Uh, well, we got a variant of it. It's not the whole thing. We'll look at the 10 round one earlier, but the time to kill is insane. Like I've set these so they've all got 250 health. So it's as if you were going up against plated opponents and look how fast the opponents are dropping. Like the recoil is really easy. Uh, this is, of course, close range. This could potentially be, end up being used as a as an SMG rather than an assault rifle. But, like, the time to kill is so clean, especially if you can land those headshots. All right, that is one of the big things. But remember, the struggle with this gun is, of course, going to be the fact that you've got that really um, fast rate of fire with that reload. So if you get pushed real quick, you're going to have to make sure you dupe out and kind of separate it. Also, be clinical with your shots. Let's get, let's get some longer range shots in. Just kind of see what it's like at a distance. Recoil is a little bit harder to kick. It kind of locks in place. But overall, really, really nice. Also, how cool are these dark tracers? Like, look at that. Look at that. How are they? They're described as pure evil, by the way. Which is... Which I quite, <laughs> I quite like the look of. But first impressions of this with this particular build is insane. Um... Will be interesting to see how it works within the meta of Warzone, whether it starts getting used as an SMG. Because I, I honestly, I think this could compete, like genuinely compete with some of the best SMGs like the MP5, just in that time to kill. Look at the fire rate. The fact that it's got an Integral Suppressor, if so, straight away, I would just be dropping the, um, the sight off using the iron sight for close range. You don't really need the scope, but... I, th I think it's exciting times. It's exciting to see it. But let's try out the uh, SPR as well, which we have. Um, as you can see, it's got that suppressor on it. It's gonna. Oh, it's it is very nice, especially with that um, that deadbolt that deadbolt in there, which kind of helps recenter the scope. Definitely going to be very very much like a car 98. I think it'll be interesting to see as well, just like kind of a test of. Yeah, we're getting headshots and they're going down with the with a headshot in one shot. That's one thing I'm always concerned about. Hold on, that was that a headshot? No, I don't think so. All right, let's just line a headshot up on you. All right, I need to. No, you've been hit. Oh, he he'd been hit. But that's what you've got to be careful about. If so, there. Thankfully, there's loads of different ammo builds that are gonna help us mix these weapons up. But hmm, interesting, interesting. Might be a one or two shot kill. We'll have to try it out a little bit more. But what I want to do now is I want to go ahead and use the 10 round mag one. This is the tier 100 skin just straight up. Oh, ooh, okay. Also, it's got a dragon of scope on it, which I'm not a big fan of that's on the base. But from a 10 round perspective, you know what we're going to do? All right, this is what I love about this. We're going to just change the scope on it. So sorry, we're not going to use you. We're just going to go straight to a corp combat hollow. Just so we, you know, we can. This could be a. It's only a 10 round mag is the downside with it. Very, very similar to a lot of others. But remember, these have got 250 HP. All right. So when we're using it, nice and clean. Wait, wait let's just let's just kill ourselves. Kill me, please. Thankfully, that or he just killed me of an origin. Thankfully, that got nerfed to the ground. Ooh, okay. This has got a lot of high fight. Yeah, that's got a fast time to kill potential. But like I said, 10 round mag always scares me because if you miss a shot uh, and you're playing multiple people, yeah, you need four, four shots to kill with the uh, 10 round mag. Really powerful. Um, but I'm just not I'm just not the biggest fan. I'm just honestly not the biggest fan of single shot weapons within Warzone. Uh, very risky. But still satisfied. I just love these dark rounds though. Uh, let's just see what else we got. So that is the two classes in action. Let's just quickly try. That was the that mag. Let's try it with the normal rounds real quick. If we do this. So just so you can see exactly what these do. So this is like for a straighter trajectory. Oh, yeah, it's it's definitely a one-shot headshot. At a certain range, it might need more damage range. Like this is what like loads of testing is gonna go into this, but first impressions. Really good. Really like the weapons. Recoil is quite easy to manage. Um, 
on the AS Val. But those are the two brand new weapons for Warzone Season 6. Go ahead, down in the comments below. Let me know what you think, how you think they're going to perform. Do you think they're going to be in the meta? I think out of the two, the AS Val has the biggest chance, but I don't think it'll be used as an assault rifle. I think it's going to end up being used as an SMG. Uh, but we'll have to wait and find out. Subscribe if you're new. Get a more Warzone Season 6 content, including the 100k Rocker Tournament here on the channel. So we'll see you then.